Hello Grade 10, how's your day today? I am Sir Rainier, your teacher guide for Science 10 Quarter 2, Module 4. I am here to help you understand your self-learning module. Here are a few reminders to help you succeed in studying this week's video module together with the most essential learning competencies. Set a conducive learning space. Seek assistance from your parents or guardians. Take down important concepts. Least questions you would like to ask from your teacher and reflect and apply the concepts that you have learned. Here are the most essential learning competencies for Quarter 2, Module 4. Cite examples of practical applications of the different regions of EM waves, such as the use of radio waves in telecommunications, S10-FE-2C-D-48. Now, let us know the expectations and outcomes. 1. Discuss how lasers and fiber optics have improved telecommunication. 2. Discuss the practical application of ultraviolet radiation in identifying counterfeit bills. 3. Discuss the application of X-ray on medical diagnosis and engineering. Now, let's move to your pre-test. Please prepare your pen and paper for your answers. You will be answering 10 items and choose the best answer from the options. Are you ready? 1. What do you call a photograph made with X-rays? A. Photo X B. X-graphs C. Radiographs D. Electrographs 2. In which field do soft X-rays are primarily used for? A. Medicine B. Construction C. Architecture D. National Security 3. What form of radiation that lies beyond the red end and the visible light? A. Infrared B. Ultraviolet C. Visible light D. X-rays 4. What type of wave is used to produce infrared scanners? A. Gamma rays B. Infrared C. Visible light D. X-ray 5. What electromagnetic wave is sometimes called the invisible heat rays? A. Gamma rays B. Infrared C. Radio waves D. Visible light 6. Sterilization of water from drinking fountain is an application of what type of EM waves? A. Infrared B. UV light C. Visible light D. X-ray 7. What light is produced by heat? A. Fluorescent light B. Incandescent light C. Neon light D. Illuminated light 8. Which of the following is not true about fiber optic cables? A. They are less prone to damage B. They are made up of fibers of glass or plastics C. They carry electrical current to transmit data signals D. They carry signal faster as compared to copper wire cables 9. Which region of the electromagnetic spectrum can be used in detecting counterfeited banknotes? A. X-ray B. Infrared C. Microwave D. Ultraviolet 10. Which of the following cables can be used to transmit signals in the form of light? A. Gold wire cable B. Light path cable C. Fiber optic cable D. Copper wire cable Answer the same pretest questions in this Google form to know your score. Visit the link found on the description part of this video module. Thank you. One TV remote controls. Two night vision goggles. Three cooking or heating food. Four satellite communication. Five transmission of TV signals. Answer the same looking back questions in this Google form to know your score. Visit the link found on the description part of this video module. Thank you. Now, at this point, I will discuss the practical applications of the regions of the electromagnetic spectrum, specifically the regions of infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, and x-rays. Infrared literally means below red. Infrared radiations or IR have a lower frequency than the red part of the visible light. Sir William Herschel, a British astronomer, is credited for discovering IR. We do not see infrared radiation but we feel it as heat. We have learned in the previous module that infrared can be used in electronic appliances, night vision goggles, and medical diagnosis. In this module, you will learn how infrared can be used in communication. On the other hand, ultraviolet literally means beyond violet. Ultraviolet or UV radiation have a higher frequency than the violet part of the visible light. 
it was discovered by the German physicist Johann Wilhelm Ritter. There are three kinds of UV, the UVA, UVB, and the UVC. UVA accounts for the almost 95% of the solar UV reaching the surface of the Earth. UVB is mostly filtered by the ozone in the atmosphere, while the UVC is almost completely absorbed by the atmosphere and no longer reach the Earth's surface. Next to UV are X-rays. X-rays were discovered by German physicist Wilhelm Konrad Röntgen. These rays are widely known for their ability to see through objects. The following are the applications of infrared, visible light, and UV lights. Infrared waves are in the lower middle range of frequencies in the EM spectrum. Infrared radiation lies beyond the red end of the visible light. The size of infrared waves ranges from a few millimeters down to microscopic lengths. The longer wavelength infrared waves produce heat and include radiation emitted by fire. The sun and other heating producing objects, shorter wavelength infrared rays do not produce much heat and are used in remote controls and imaging technologies. The amount and wavelength of radiation depend on temperature. Below 5000 degrees Celsius, an object emits only infrared radiation. Above 5000 degrees Celsius, an object glows and emits both infrared and visible light. The difference in color determines the differences in temperature. For example, shades of blue and green indicate regions of colder temperature and red and yellow indicate warmer temperature. The human eye is not sensitive to the infrared light used by television remote controls. Infrared scanners are used to show the temperature variation of the body. This can be used for medical diagnosis. To send a signal to a television, remote controls often use a diode that emits light. Some digital cameras have filters to block near infrared light, but most can detect it. It shows up on the screen as if it is where visible light. When you press a button on the remote control, the camera may show a pulsing light emitted by the remote. Infrared photographs taken from a satellite with special films provide useful details on the vegetation of the Earth's surface. These are the useful applications of visible light. When light passes through a prism, it is separated into its constituent colors, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These colors do not distinctly separate but they continuously change from red to violet. Red color has the longest wavelength from among these colors and violet has the shortest. Our eyes are sensitive to electromagnetic waves of wavelengths that ranges from 4 times 10 to the negative 7 meters to 7 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. This is the range of wavelengths of white light. Thus, the spectrum of white light is therefore called the visible spectrum. Visible light is essential for photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plant makes food. Forms of energy taken from the sun, used by plants and microorganisms million years ago, are locked up in coal and oil used as energy resources today. UV radiation is also used in sterilizing water from drinking fountains. Some washing powder also contains fluorescent chemicals which glow in sunlight. This makes your shirt look whiter than white light in daylight. The signature is marked on the passbook with fluorescent ink. It becomes visible when viewed under an UV lamp. These lamps are also used to identify fake banknotes. UV radiation in sunlight produces vitamin D in the skin and gives us tanning effect. UV lamps are used for teeth whitening. The following are useful applications of X-rays. X-rays come just after ultraviolet rays. 
they are of shorter wavelength but carries higher energy than the UV. X-rays are produced using an X-ray tube. They are emitted when fast-moving electrons hit a metal target. X-rays were discovered by Wilhelm Conrad Rogen in 1895. Long wavelength X-rays can penetrate the flesh but not to the bones. They are used in X-ray photography to help doctors look inside the body. They are useful in diagnosing bone fractures and tumors. Fiber optics used in communications As a response to the growing demands for faster, more efficient, and more reliable internet service, the field of communication keeps in evolving. The most recent response to these demands is the use of fiber optic communication system. How does this system work? And how does this system become a game changer? The fiber optic communication system enabled communication to be made with lower levels of loss in transmission medium. In this system, signals were sent by laser of near infrared frequencies over hair like fibers made of glass or plastic or opposed to copper wire that uses electrical signals. This forms an electromagnet carrier wave modulated to carry information. Fiber optic cables do not carry electric current making them less susceptible to electromagnetic interference that interrupts data transmission. Fiber optic cables can carry signals farther than copper cables. Fiber optic cables are lighter and thinner making them less prone to damage. Check your understanding. Determine which region of the electromagnetic spectrum is used or applied in the following. Refer to the options provided below. Choose only the letter of your answer. A. Infrared radiation. B. Visible light. C. Ultraviolet light. D. X-ray. 1. Photosynthesis. 2. Remote control. 3. X-ray radiography. 4. Banknotes. 5. Infrared scanner. 6. Tanning effect. 7. Incandescent light. 8. Fluorescent bulb. 9. X-ray detectors. 10. The sun. Answer the same check your understanding questions in this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on the description area of this video module. Thank you. Generalization Fiber optic technology uses laser with near infrared frequencies to deliver data. Fiber optic technology has improved telecommunications as it allows data to be transmitted faster and more efficiently. The sun is one of the natural sources of UV radiation. A photograph made with X-rays is called radiograph. X-rays are classified as soft and hard. Some X-rays are primarily applied in medical procedures such as radiography, while other X-rays are primarily applied in engineering and other industries. These are the applications of infrared. These are the applications of visible light. These are the applications of ultraviolet. And these are the applications of X-rays. Now, let's move on to our post-test. Please prepare your pen and paper for your answers. You will be answering 10 items and choose the best answer from the options. Are you ready? 1. Which region of electromagnetic spectrum is used in fiber optic technology? A. X-ray B. Infrared C. Microwave D. Ultraviolet 2. Which of the following electromagnetic waves is used to check baggage in airports as part of security measures? A. Lasers B. X-rays C. Visible light D. Ultraviolet radiation 3. Money bills are printed with watermarks to avoid counterfeiting. Which region of electromagnetic spectrum can be used to see these watermarks? A. X-ray B. Infrared C. Microwave D. Ultraviolet 4. What electromagnetic wave is sometimes called the invisible heat rays? A. Gamma rays B. Infrared C. Radio waves D. Visible light 5. What form of radiation that lies beyond the red end and the visible light? A. Infrared B. Ultraviolet C. Visible light D. X-rays 6. What light is produced from heat? A. Fluorescent light B. Incandescent light C. Neon light D. Illuminated light 7. Which of the following statements is or are true about X-rays? 
1. It is discovered by Wilhelm Konrad Projen. 2. Soft x-rays can be applied in the medical field. 3. Hard x-rays have no beneficial application at all. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. 8. Why does fiber optic cable is more practical than using copper cable? 1. Fiber optic cables are lighter and thinner. 2. Fiber optic cables do not lose signal strength at high frequency. 3. Fiber optic cable offers greater bandwidth as compared to copper cable of the same diameter. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. 9. How does UV light exhibit its germicidal effect? A. Kills bacteria and viruses. B. Heats up the bacteria and viruses. C. Disrupts the reproductive abilities of bacteria and viruses. D. Interferes with the respiratory processes of bacteria and viruses. 10. Which of the following is considered as the application of infrared waves? A. Camera autofocusing. B. Diagnosis of bone fracture. C. Radio broadcasting. D. Sterilization of medical instruments. Answer the same post-test questions in this Google form to know your score. Kindly visit the link below found on the description area of this video module. Thank you. Congratulations, Grade 10! You have completed your Science 10 Quarter 2 Module 4 video module. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for the next Science 10 Quarter 2 video modules. See you once again.